Okay, you guys, uh, we're gonna go through the warm up. You're gonna do three times through the entire warm up. The first part is gonna get your heart rate up. We're gonna do pogo jumps. You see here, we're gonna go straight pogo jumps up and down, not a big bend in the knees. Then we're gonna go 10 lateral jumps, which is side to side. You can see those here. Then we're gonna go 10 pogo jumps where your whole body will twist. So shoulders, hips, and knees will all turn using your arms to create a little bit of momentum, still not bending your knees heavily. Then we're gonna go 10 pogo jumps where just your hips move and your shoulders are staying forward. After you finish those 40 jumps, you'll transition immediately into the next warm up movements. You're gonna do 10 pillar toe touches. You're gonna do 10 pike shoulder push-ups, and you're gonna do 10 lunges with a twist. You'll see me demoing each one of these movements, the pillar toe touches, the pike shoulder push-ups, and the 10 lunges. When you're done with all four pogo jumps, all three warm-up movements, you'll repeat that two more times before you're done. Okay, enjoy a good picture of my one car garage. Um, and hopefully you guys move through these movements with efficiency and start to understand what they look like as you go. Um, if you can do this to the best of your ability, that will help us to get you ready for the strength portion for your hips and for your shoulders. Okay, warm up is over. We're gonna work on strengthening your hips and legs with these movements. The first thing you're gonna do is a banded air squat, okay? You're gonna move through the squat, trying to get your butt below your knees, keeping your knees driving wide, engaging your glutes as part of this movement. Second movement is a wall sit with a banded pulse. Same thing, driving those knees wide. Make sure your knees are at a 90 degree angle and your hips are at a 90 degree angle. We're trying to get our butt below those knees in order to engage the hips as much as possible. The last one we're gonna do is a candlestick. You'll lay back, stand up through the legs, jump. It's kind of an air squat. You can use the momentum of your legs up and over your head to get that squat jump going. Make sure you do three rounds of all of these movements with one minute of rest in between. Second set, shoulder strength, let's go. Okay, you're gonna do three sets of these movements as well. We have a plank shoulder tap, keeping your core strong, minimal movement through your glutes, legs, and back. Second one is going to be an extended plank where you reach your hands forward beyond your head and shoulders, strengthening that overhead position while continuing to squeeze through your core, tuck your butt under, stay strong. Both of those are gonna be for 30 seconds or 30 reps, whatever comes first. Then we're going to do a band pull apart with your elbows tucked in. This is a shoulder strengthening movement. Find a good space on that band where you're continually under tension. The pull apart for this movement is as quick as you can, and then three seconds to bring it back to the center. Same with this one, but now arms are straight out in front. Pull your arms wide, one second, three, two, one, to come back. One apart, three, two, one. Pull your shoulders down and away from your ears. Smile at your neighbors as they walk by. Next, we have a band shoulder press. Take the band underneath your feet or knees, depending on the strength of that band. Squeeze up and out, one second up, three seconds slow down, one up, two, three, down, up, one, two, three. You will go through three times on all of these shoulder movements in order to gain strength and health in your shoulders. 